Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is a different type of video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I edit my videos. This is how I highly request. Actually, not feeling very well today. A banging headache. Migraine this morning was horrible. I'll show you how I edit my videos, my vlogs. I actually use two software. I use iMovie sometimes, but I'm actually using Undershare Filmora because that's a more advanced software and you can do loads, loads, loads more. Okay, so now my computer is set up in my room. I'm going to try and record my screen during how I'm going to do it because I actually don't know. I don't actually don't know what footage I'm going to be editing. Uh, whilst showing you how I edit my videos, my vlogs, so that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, I've got the software on computer, Undershare Filmora. I'm actually going to sleep for a bit now. It's like half 12. I'll probably wake up about half one ish. Hopefully, I'll feel better later on. About how I edit my vlogs, how I edit my videos. Later on, I'm going to show you how I edit my videos, my vlogs, using this software that I use. I've used it a couple of times. Like I said earlier, I do use iMovie on my MacBook Air to edit some of my vlogs. This is great. Great software on here. So guys, the first thing that I do when I've filmed all my vlog clips on my phone, which, which by the way, this is an iPhone 8, great phone, great quality. I've got all the vlog, filmed all the vlog clips on my phone. I actually plug it into my computer, USB, this cable here. I plug it into my computer and then I click on here. I'm not actually got it plugged in so it's not going to show up. But what, yeah, what I do is go on here, or it should say iPhone, click on there, then import them to a folder. What I like to do is make a folder with the name of the vlog, if it's vlog 560, whatever, then I call it vlog 560 clips, and then put all the clips into that folder. And then once I've got all the clips, all on the computer, I unplug my phone, um, and then I come into this edit, a load of the editing software, Wondershare Filmora 9, it's what I used to edit most of my videos, but I haven't been using iMove on my laptop, but for this video, I'm just gonna show you how I edit my videos, my vlogs, on this software. So guys, I'm going to use these clips from Vlog 571, just an example from this video. I'm probably not going to be able to get it exactly the same as this actual vlog that's already on, on my YouTube channel, but I'm just going to use these clips in this folder as an example on Vlog 571, which basically was my last video. You guys, now I'm just going to select all of these clips, dynamic clips that are pictures are here, but it's going to import them here in this area here. You guys should know all this stuff, this is pretty much easy. Just give it a while to load up all the files. And then what you want to do is just scroll through all these clips. What I like to do is add a part of the video, like a teaser from the video, um, to like keep the video entertained, keep the video, the, the viewer, like you, tuned in to watch the rest of the video. So I already know it's this clip here. So I'm just going to pull that into the timeline, as you can see on the screen here, the timeline here. Now that this first clip, this first video is actually imported in the timeline at the bottom here, you can see this clip is actually a little flip the other way around for some reason because it's filmed on my phone, not Instagram. Just try and get this like smile the face effect video. Guys, now I'm always just going to, uh, if I can, I'm actually just going to flip this around. I'm just gonna make sure it's horizontal. I'm just gonna resize it. But when you film videos on your normal like camera app on your phone, you shouldn't be able to you shouldn't be doing all this. You should do it automatically. Automatically, sorry. But yeah, now I've got this like clip, this first clip in the video. Um what I want to do is let's add the rest of the clips now. Um I can't remember the order, but what you can do is you can just like plug a head put a headphone in your ear, obviously, and you can just play the video where you where you know where the intro, like the start of the vlog start of the video which is here for me so this is and also yeah now I'm just gonna wait for it to play and then and I'm just gonna press control B on this and then delete this last clip this like little bit here turn the volume up as well because that's important as well hey guys welcome back to the vlog um wrong headphone in <laughs> see these like bits here where it's like quiet like this bit here, for example, this like, this bit here. I'm just going to, I'm just going to like cut that bit out because it's actually quiet. So I want to make it like a short intro. I'm just going to cut this bit out as well. This should all be st st like simple. And that's all done, guys. All the trimming, cutting. No talk, just like lower the volume, sometimes like that music in the background as well. Go on to that later on as well about music and where I got music from YouTube. It's going to add some text, so titles, I'm going to go on lower thirds. Sorry if I'm rambling on quite quick, but I'm trying to get this done. 
uh, this one here, lower third, add it onto the clip you want to see it on, and then you can actually double click onto that, no, double click on here, this is what I do, and then I'm going to some text, I'm going to put my new hair, and then I'm actually going to move this across, change the font, I don't really like this one, I'm actually going to change to impact, change the size to about 56, no, about 62. And then what I like about this software, you can actually you can actually add drop shadows and like effects and things like that. So I'm just going to go into presets, click on textile 2, click on advanced because you can see loads more features on this. This is what I do with all my vlogs, just add loads of effects and things to the text. So I'm going to add, see these one, this one here, or this one, or I quite like this one. Click on that one. And then you can also trim how long you want it to be, this, how long you want this text to be during for. So click on here. Option, I might vlog today. Now, if I make that longer, you can obviously see that it lasts for the entire clip. And then I can just make that shorter now. So that's that's great. Also, save along, that's what I do. I save it as I go along just in case like I lost, lose any of the files or anything goes wrong. Move on to the next clip. Again, this is just an example how I edit my videos. I'm not going to do this on our movie, but um, I, I am using this software like a lot more now. It's great. Now for the next few clips, guys, I have got this one here, which I actually might add some non-copyright music here at the bottom because it's a different track, it's different layers you can add on top of the video and under the video. Um, so this one here, you can just see me doing this cool sign. And then I've got this like hand thing, so you see where the hand comes in about here, about here. So I'm actually just going to press Control B. Control B is like a lifesaver, honestly, it's amazing. And then you just come on here. That's like a cool transition. No like effects actually in the software. That's just actually like with the camera tricks and like hands and everything. It just looks good. You could also add some music where I'm quiet. So I'm quiet from like. From the start of this clip to the very end here, I can add some music like from here, and then it'll fade off about there. So now I'm just going to add some music now. Um, I've actually got some non copyright music. I will also leave a link down below in the description where you can actually download the non copyright music where I get it from. Vlog, no copyright music, and NCS as well. They're great sounds, great music, all copyright free. So use them in any of your videos. Um, so I'm just going to have a look for my music now if I've got any. I'm actually going to go on my downloads. Um, we've got this one here. So I'm going to add the music from the start here. I like to turn the volume down because, like, sometimes the music is quite loud, so I have to just like turn the volume down a little bit. Um, so I'm actually just going to play it now. So I quite like that. I quite like that. Actually, I'm not going to trim that. So I'm going to trim it about here. And then just move it to the start over here and play it. And then just like click on the music track here, press Ctrl B, and then just delete this with the press delete key on your keyboard. Click on this here or left click on here, click on fade. Web editing software you use, click on fade, and the music shall like slowly fade out and then it'll go to me talking. That fits nicely there guys, you listen to it. Hey guys, good. So the music like fades and I start talking about whatever I'm talking about or anything that happens next in this clip. So now I'm going to move on to the next clip. Um, this one here. There is a bit of me, I do talk in this one obviously. And there is some parts I do to cut out. So Morning. See this part here, I'm going to cut that bit out. Uh, I'll cut out like every like split second where I'm quiet. Just to try and make the video like as like short as possible. I'm trying to like, make it like snappy. If that makes sense. You know the afternoon. See, I'm, not, I'm quiet here. Listen, but and then I can cut that bit out, like, and then that cuts out like five seconds, which is great. So that means something's to be doing shorter, and etc. What I like to add is you may have seen like these in my videos. These subscribe and like pictures that I add on my videos. So you can actually go onto Google right now and type, go on images and just type in um, sub. Subscribe 
but you should type in PNG as well because this is important. And just click on this, save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it. Save it, and also do the same when you type in uh, a thumbs up PNG. Make sure it's PNG, and then click on any of these, save it to your desktop or wherever, and then click on import, import media files, go on to where you saved it. Mine is here, and then just add these in, open them, and then they'll be on the on the little box here that you can just like click drag and then you can always well it's nearly the afternoon you can always resize them like you can just like trim it I think make it like five ten seconds how long you want it to be on for to be on the screen for and you can also click on here click might be different than the software you use but just like follow my steps if you better edit videos like me and you can just click and drag make sure it's like in the center because that's like important <laughs> And then here you guys, this will be it. Near the afternoon. There's actually no transition on this yet, so the next part, transitions. Now on to the next part guys, now I'm going to move on to transitions. These are very important if you want to make, if you want to make your video like cool, like effective, stuff like that. So let's just click on transition over here. There is hundreds and hundreds of tools on here. I could be scrolling here for a long time, there's loads on here. Um, whatever transition foots. Like suits the video. Uh, so I'm going to add. Um, I mentioned I'm going to the start of this video. Like let's say in the middle of these two clips here. These one, these two here. I'm actually going to go on to. I quite like this one here. Well, you can like there's different ones. There's low transition. Just like try them out. See which one you like best. And see one like see see which one fits the video. So I'm going to play it now. Hey guys, welcome back to. See, I quite like that. It's like a, it's like a wave, thing. It's really cool. There's loads of these cross world transitions. Again, like I said, try out different transitions. Which ones you like? You might even want, you might even want a simple one, like a fade or a cut. But uh, there is some really nice transitions on here. You also get some more effects on this software as well. And you can also like choose like like drag how long you want transitions to be on for. If you want it to be like that long, you can like. It looks the video. Hey guys, back to it's pretty cool how you can like change that, it's really awesome. Um, you can also call the grade clips as well, but I'll move on to that later on in this video guys, but just stay tuned. And you can also add some really cool transitions to these as well. I'm going to just trim that, don't want it, don't want it to be nice and short. And you can click, double click on this, actually no. Um, motion, you can go on, or oh, choose a different one. Click on them, then it previews previews on the screen here yeah, as you can see I'm gonna choose this one I like this one see yeah and then that actually that actually saves it for this one as well flip up to and then you can just you can play it back here morning and well it's nearly the afternoon but I'm up now guys hope you guys like my new haircut let me know so they're really really cool I really like them you can add like loads of transitions to these pictures any picture you add on, on, add on top of a video you can add loads of effects to it. You can do this with any software you use, iMovie, Final Cut, Adobe Premiere Pro, loads of editing software out there. <music> the next one now is colour correction, colour grading, which one you want to choose. So what I want to do now is uh, left click on the video with a mouse, colour correction, like left click on the clip you want to use, you want to like colour grade, like change the colour of saturation or brightness or contrast. Um, so now I'm going to go on to, I've actually got some presets here already made for me. So if I want the video to be like brighten, that'll basically brighten the video, the entire clip that I just selected. So it looks really cool. Or you can add this one, makes it look blue, warm as well. I quite like that one. Warm max, that's like maximum warm, that's like orange, bright orange. Boost color, that's, that's just saturation. You, you can also just adjust it as well. So if you want to bring down the saturation, you can always uh, bring it down. So if you want to go on to saturation, you can adjust that, make it brighter, make it darker, whatever you want, it's up to you. You can do this for every clip in the timeline. So that is very cool. That's color correction for you. Now, guys, I've just imported, um, well, I've just dragged this clip into the timeline of me walking my dog. Um, I do do these quite a lot in my vlogs. Uh, what I like to do is just click on this little line here and just uh, bring it down. Basically, just mute the video. I'm actually just going to get that song that I got earlier. This 
this one here. I'm actually going to make it shorter because I want to start the start, like start here. Sorry. Add a, I'm going to add a fade in, but this is what I always do with videos. There. There we go. It starts nicely with the music. So I'm actually going to cut it there, and then just drag this clip next to it. There we go. And then. I'm actually good to add a transition like in the middle of these cool clip two clips here. So I'm going to click on transition. I'm going to click on to go on. You can experiment with these, like there's different ones. Thousands of transitions on here. So I kinda like that one, but I don't like this because you need to just like trim that a little bit. There we go. And then add it back in and then just like trim it out a little bit. There we go. Perfect. So that's quite cool, it's like a fisheye roll too. And um, there's low transitions on here, you can test them out. Um like this one for example. So that's also a good one as well. I anyway, mean yeah, this is music in the background. You can you, know, you can turn the volume up, you can turn the volume down. You can... Oh baby I, I wanted you to be I like to like make the the song like I'm sorry, I like to make the video go with the song beat if that makes sense. Like not just like putting like a, a really upbeat like a really like bass upbeat song next to a clip and it doesn't like go with it. I like to make the song match with the video that I filmed. So that's a really, really clever technique what those YouTubers do. Make the beat with the song go with the video that you filmed. That is a really, really good idea. But this song's not really a beat song. It's just like more of like a chill piano song, if you know what I mean. It's more just like a chill, chill vibe song. But if you want to go on YouTube and type in, um, let's go on YouTube, type in like. Uh, wait for the load. Go on, type in beat, non copyright music. And you can get loads of these hard trap beat free non copyright instrumental songs. Then there's like a beat drop somewhere. And that, you listen, listen to this beat. That beat can go with the video that you filmed here, like the clip. Like make it like cuts and everything. It's really really clever. If you guys want to do a tutorial all about that then leave a like and leave a comment down below. Hope you guys like this. Sorry for rushing through it. You can see here the music is actually going on for a long, like, long time than the actual clip that I filmed. So I'm actually just going to go to the end of the timeline here and just click on Control B. Remember that Control B or whatever keyboard you're on or whatever editing software. So now I've only got these two clips with the music that I wanted earlier on. And now I'm actually just going to click on, well, just drag this fade. Again, this should be the same with the editing software that you're using to follow on with this video if you want. So now it should fade. It should be a fade at the end there. Nice fade. Make the fade go longer, shorter, so make the fade go like there. It's really good. Now for effects, guys, we click on effects up here. You should be able to find effects on your editing software that you're using for, this, for your videos by TV, TV signal. Oh, baby. And that looks really cool for like, maybe like an intro or something. But I'm just going to add um, auto enhance. So that will automatically enhance this video for you. It will automatically like, increase like, the brightness, contrast, everything. You also you can also just double click on the video. And then you can also change it by, in, in, by yourself, like custom, custom change it. Contrast, bring that up a little bit. Bring, that should change it for the video. And now this clip looks 10 times better than it was before. Um, hopefully this helped you. So if you guys don't know how to make an end card, then um, there's loads of tutorial on YouTube on how to make them. This is mainly just about editing, video editing, and thumbnails as well. Import media files. I'm going to import my end card, which is actually here. There we go. Click, and then drag it onto the timeline. Pretty easy stuff. You should be able to follow this along. And then, I'm just going to drag this along. I normally make my end cards about 10 seconds long. Um, so, and that goes on for about 8 seconds, I think. 
And then what I like to do is add transitions. So I'm gonna like this one, I think. Yeah, it's like move to the side, so that's clever. That looks really cool actually. And now what am I actually going to do? I'm actually just going to click and drag the music along to carry on with the outro. So from the music here from this video. Oh baby, I, I want it. It's really great. Normally I spend loads of time doing this, but this is just this is just a short little example on how I normally do it. Um, just a basic idea on how I edit my videos. I know this video hasn't been like a proper video on how I edit my videos. Well, it kind of has. Um, this is just like a rough example on how I edit my videos and music and text. And everyone edits differently. And I do spend a long time editing my videos and making sure they're perfect. And I actually don't really have that much time to show you how long. I don't actually have that much time to show you how I edit my videos. But you guys get the idea of like, you see text here, music, hand transitions, like you can do like without any effects in actual editing software you can actually do tons of effects without using any effects in the software you can add effects to these pictures um, you can add loads of pictures and like overlays to your videos you can like you can download overlays from YouTube as well and add them onto your video and change the opacity and I've shown you transitions in this video this transition here love that transition by the way there's loads you can get in this editing software and um, also my end card as well it's really great our music and fades and everything like I said don't have much don't have that much time to show you how long don't have, don't have that much time to show you how I edit my videos this is just a rough like a rough just like showcase of how I edit my videos <laughs> and then once you've got your video guys click on ex export up here click on export and then you can name the video whatever you want. I'm just going to call this vlog, um, vlog example. And then click on export there. It should start exporting. But also, you can change the resolution of the video like 1080p, 720p, maybe 4K, whatever you want, really. It's great. Now, for the fun part, guys, now I'm going to go on to. Um, Photoshop, which I've already got here. Um, I think I've got like the seven day, 30 day trial. So once you're on Photoshop, you want to go on width, type in 1280, then the height as 720. What I like to do, guys, is get a screenshot from the video. So let's, for example, let's say, uh, so this one's about my hair, hair, hair vlog. So this I'm going to click on this one here. I like this one, and you can actually like screenshot that. Actually, in the software, it's really great. And then, got the documents, window share, film aura. Right. So I'm going to here now. Documents here, and then click on snapshot. Now I'm in the folder, user media snapshot. And then the snapshot is actually here. I'm actually going to move this to my desktop, and then click on Photoshop um, file. Sorry, I'm doing this quite quick. I'm trying to rush this. Sorry. File place, and then find the image which is uh, here well I've got one there but there we go perfect and then I just want to double click this don't know why but you have to do this for some reason double click that click OK and then double click that press OK got this little move arrow thing click drag there delete the one below it delete and then click on this here up here show transformation tools click drag make sure you press shift as well and then just resize and make sure it fits the little box. The box we set earlier is 1280 by 720. This is just an example, guys. Make sure you click on the little text tool up here. Uh, this little text call tool here. And I just want to type in vlog 571. Move it up here. And then maybe you can actually like resize that. Uh, change the color as well. I don't really like that color, so I'm going to go on to a, I think a white color. Um, actually, you know, the kind of black for example now i've got the text here guys now what i want to do is actually just change the font so i'm going to highlight all the text that i've done i'm going to go on to um i quite like uh this this one this one here i'm just going to move that into the corner there move it around change it you know and change effects and drop shadow on that later on but for now leave it there and i'm actually going to click on another text but i'm just going to type in my new 
uh, if they're based, I'm basically just copying the thumbnail from this video again this is just an example for this how I edit my videos video move that into the center there doesn't really have to be perfect resize it you can always change the color and font and stuff later on you can't really see it's like a bright bright, bright color but if I go into white that looks really nice now what you can do which is I really like this feature in Photoshop the con drop shadow um, click on normal this is what I always do when I make these thumbnails spread like 67 and then size like say eight or nine and you can change like a put a stroke that could be a red color or a a blue a light blue I quite like dark blue that like stands out you can do the same like effects here to this one here so click on this again blending options a new style click OK click OK go into this text here vlog 571 blending options styles and then click the very one at the bottom here um, and that should be the same as that but that doesn't look very good so I'm going to click on I'm actually going to click on I'm actually going to click on this one I quite like this one actually what I like to add is like saturation to the image so I'm going to go on image up here adjustments hue and saturation and then just move this along here and make it look make it look like really cool also I'm actually going to duplicate layer this is how I get like, the arrow the, the lines around me like the outline and then click on this little tool here and then what I want to do is on this layer the double layer that I just made move this up basically just like an outline outside my body now I want to do click on this little eye in the middle click on that then click on the effects next to it blending options and then what I want to do is go on color overlay this one here I'm actually going to change that to a black as you can see you can't see my hair because I've like put like a black out black box inside of it inside my body like you know it's out like a that out in line thing what I want to do is add a stroke white just full on white maybe change the size to like a 5 or a 4 5 actually looks quite good 5 um, and then I'm actually going to add some pictures onto this I'm going to go into Google type in question mark PNG make sure it's PNG click on this one here copy image go back onto Photoshop edit up here edit paste and then just uh, click on this little one one tool over here and select these black areas you don't want in the video press delete and all them control D to deselect these pixels and then press on this little move arrow click on this up here click drag make sure you press shift as well size make it a bit bigger move in the middle that looks about right and then you get loads of things to this but this is actually like a simple thumbnail what I do on here sorry I'm sorry for that this is it really sorry for pushing this this is just a little test for the video and then now I click on file save as and then I like to call it vlog 571 thumbnail just so I know exactly what it is when I'm looking for it when I'm on YouTube uploading the video I know what picture and thumbnail I'm looking for so now I'm going to click on desktop save click OK and then I'm going to save it as a PNG click on that again Go on this little drop menu and then click on JPEG, save, high quality, make sure it's high quality. And then when you're on YouTube uploading it, you can just like put the thumbnail on the video when it's uploading. And that's basically how, how I do it, guys. How I make the thumbnails, how I edit my videos, um, import the clips, trim the clips, cut the clips, and music, intro. Um, I do I do sometimes do an intro as well music effects color grading color everything end card everything really and then once you've done all that i do the thumbnail and it's turned out really well